MacGyver could choose to be any plant in the world, I'm pretty sure he'd pick hemp because that plant can literally do anything. Welcome to Terra Talk, the show that reads the internet so you don't have to. I'm Travis Turcott. And I'm Matt Stolikowski. Today we're going to be talking about hemp. Let's start with asking the question, what is hemp? Under Canadian regulation, hemp is marijuana with less than 0.3% tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, the primary psychoactive ingredient in marijuana. Hemp gets a bad rep because it's often mistaken for marijuana. Now marijuana has a THC content of between 5 and 25%. Hemp is to marijuana what non-alcoholic beer is the actual regular beer. Hemp's been around for a long time. About 12,000 years ago was the first evidence we've seen in ancient China where the hemp fibers were imprinted on the side of pottery. Cut to Canada, in 1938, the production of hemp was discontinued, only to be recontinued again in the 90s, starting in around 1998. In 2003, Canada had around 6,700 producing acres of hemp, mostly located in the prairies. Now, if you fast forward to 2015, we now have 80,000 producing acres of hemp coast to coast. In the United States of America, hemp is still classified the same as marijuana making it a very cost prohibitive plant to grow because of all the security implementations you have to put up when growing it. This is leading to the United States of America having to import around $500 million worth of hemp per year. Before the growing of hemp was made illegal in the United States, in 1938, Popular Mechanics did an article on hemp calling it the billion dollar crop. In today's money, that could be over $10 billion. Let's talk about some of the industrial and textile applications that hemp can be used for. On an annual basis, hemp can produce two to three times as much clothing fiber per acre compared to cotton. It's stronger, softer, and lasts twice as long as well. Compared to cotton, hemp is a more versatile plant. It can be grown in more climates, requires less water, requires less herbicides and pesticides, and is frost tolerant. Cotton uses 24% and 11% of the world's insecticides and pesticides, but only is harvested on 2.4% of the world's arable land. By switching from cotton to hemp, we'll be able to lower our insecticide and pesticide use, thereby cleaning up the environment. Further, the because hemp is more effective and has higher yields, we'll be able to decrease the amount of land dedicated to cotton as well. On an annual basis, one acre of hemp can produce as much paper as two to four acres of trees, producing all the same paper products from tissue paper to cardboard paper. Due to the long fiber in hemp, it can be recycled more than paper products from trees and requires less chemical processing because it's easier to break down. It takes trees anywhere from seven to 40 years to reach maturity to be harvested. Seven being the eucalyptus tree in South America and 40 being the more typical tree we see here in North America. Compared to hemp, which is 120 days after the seed is planted, the crop is ready to be harvested. The fibers from hemp can also be used to make a stronger, lighter fiber board than that of its tree-based substitute, as well as an economically friendly plastic substitute and a biofuel. Not only does hemp have industrial applications, it's considered a superfood as well. Hemp is actually a fruit, not a nut. Three tablespoons of whole hemp seeds will give you 10 grams of protein, 14 grams of fat, mostly omega-3 and omega-6, and two grams of fiber. Hemp oil is the best botanical source of essential fatty acids, even better than flaxseed or nut oils. It's the best substitute we have for fish oils. It has all 20 amino acids, including nine essential amino acids. Some of the health benefits that have been associated with hemp are softer skin, increased energy, normalization of blood cholesterol, arthritic relief, decreased cravings for sugar, and increased immune function as well. Another popular use of hemp seeds is for protein powder. Hemp protein powder is considered the best vegan or vegetarian hemp protein powder available on the market today. As versatile as hemp is, a company like say IKEA, who uses fiberboard based furniture, could literally use hemp to produce everything from making better, stronger, lighter furniture to the upholstery on its seats or the plastic in its toys. And if they wanted to, they could feed you in the cafeteria with it as well. Today, in a world with increasingly limited cropland, a product like hemp can help improve yields in many different fields, as well as help feed a growing population. That's it from us here at Terra Talk. If you liked the video, please hit like, subscribe, as to help the channel grow. We appreciate everything. Also, if you have any questions on the topic we covered today, put it in the comments and we'll do our best to answer it. My name is Travis Turcotte, and this was Terra Talk.